This is a quick video to show progress on the uh, Transwing aircraft. So what we've got is a Transwing here sitting on the runway and uh, we can have a look at it from uh, the front or the back. And um, we can see what happens in the aircraft when we, uh, just on the ground, change flight modes which triggers the transition behaviour. So we're currently in a Q loiter flight mode and I'm just going to change that and it goes to a fixed wing flight mode. So that's fly by wire A I flicked it to, and I'll go back to Q loiter flight mode. And so what we're gonna do now is, uh, I'll just reset the vehicle on the, on the runway properly, and then I'm going to uh, arm the vehicle. And uh, so you can see that the prop starts spinning appropriately, and we're now going to take off and there we are flying the vehicle and um, it's stable in, in loiter mode and we can move it around, fly it a bit to the right and fly it a bit to the left and fly it forward or fly it back and we can yaw the vehicle as well. So there it is yawing around. Great. All right. So we have ourselves um, a usable vehicle. Um, and uh, what I'll do now is I'm just going to go to the chase camera. Uh, and it just disturbs it a little bit when I'm using the menu system. So it's now in the chase camera, which I think will be a better view for, uh, for starting a transition. And I'm going to take it up to a bit higher altitude and then uh, level it out, and then I'm going to transition to forward flight. So it's up to there. Um, so we've got plenty of altitude there, and I'm gonna flick it into forward flight, and it will start transitioning. And then transition's fairly rough at this stage, it's through it, but there was a fair bit of yawing and um, difficulty in controlling. Once it's through the transition, it flies beautifully. Uh, in fixed wing mode, it has no troubles whatsoever. So I'm just flying it in fly-by-wire A mode there now and very flyable aircraft um, and a good response. Set it quite soft response. We don't really want this thing to be aerobatic, so it's set up to be deliberately flying with a fairly soft uh, level of control and fairly slow um, roll and pitch rates. And um, so that's flying very nicely. And then while it's in that mode, I can now uh, pop it back into uh, Q hover mode. And what it'll do is it'll transition back. So I'll just see if I can zoom in a little bit to make it easier to see what happens when I back transition. It is fairly dramatic, the back transition at this stage. That's what really needs to be improved. So there's the back transition. You can see it noses up quite a lot. And the attitude goes through a whole lot of gyrations before it settles down. And eventually it comes into a hover. Um, and definitely that could be considerably better than than it is at the moment. So that's what we need to do to start improving the the flight control um, with the transitions. And now, of course, we can now fly it as a multi-rotor again and quite flyable and I can yaw it around and, and that sort of thing. All right, so that was just a quick demo of the, the first version. Uh, thanks very much to Brandon for making the nice 3D model for us so we can visualize what's happening. And then uh, future updates, we will hopefully get it, the transitions a lot smoother.